Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabid Rabbit, back for another episode of Rust Electricity 101, The Component Guide. Today's topic is the timer. The timer is a handy little component to use in a variety of applications, including traps and puzzle bases, where you may want to induce a little bit of a delay into when an action will occur. It's also handy for triggering cascading events that you want to happen on a timed interval. The timer can be found in crates and sunken chests. It is not a default blueprint. and It is craftable with five high quality metal and one gear, presumably part of the mechanics. We'll craft one here. It is not uh, deployable on the floor. It's only deployable on the wall. It has one output, it has one input, and it has one handle on the side labeled toggle on. There's two ways to activate the timer. One is to press your use key, which will activate the timer manually. Here we're seeing it activate for its default duration of 10 seconds. Pressing the use key now does nothing as you cannot manually interrupt the timer. The other way to activate the timer is by applying power to the toggle on input. You can see by applying power, the timer has started. Again, I cannot manually disconnect this or, or cancel the timer. It'll run for its full 10 second duration. There is one way to effectively cancel a timer, which some would refer to as a bug and that is by removing power. Despite the fact that it looks like a physical timer, when you remove power, it actually turns off and resets back to its zero state. And the timer will not resume when you reapply power. It simply goes back to its off state, waiting to be activated again. This is a bit counterintuitive because it does look like an analog timer, However, it behaves like a digital timer in that removing its input power seems to reset it back to off and zero, although it does not change the time you have set for duration. So if I change this from the default 10 seconds to five and I remove the power, then reattach it, you will see it has retained the value I set of five seconds. Another thing to note is that this component is not uh, available for any type of interaction when it doesn't have power. So unlike a regular switch, which when it is not connected to anything, I can still turn it on and off. The timer, if I take away the power, pressing the use key does nothing. I can't flip this manual switch. Holding the use key does not take me to the settings to set its value. You do have to have input power applied to configure the timer duration or to trigger it to activate. So in summary, it is not a default blueprint. It's found in crates and sunken chests. It's craftable with five high quality metal and one gear. It passes power through only when the timer is running. It can be activated through the manual toggle or remotely by applying power to the toggle on handle. It cannot be stopped manually, and you cannot activate it or set the value of it if there's no input power. Removing power while it is running causes it to reset and turn off. It does not resume where it was when you remove the power. Those are the tips and tricks for utilizing the timer. Enjoy. Good luck. Thank you.